Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on different sizes. Students in kindergarten are given many opportunities to comp compare objects with different sizes. For example, here's just an example of a question you could ask. Underline the short objects in the following group. Okay, so if we look at here, I think the students can see that that's, that's not a short. That's quite tall, isn't it? They'll also see that the tree is quite tall. So I think they'll go for those two objects. I'm quite confident they'll do that. So before you start, you could explain to them what the word short means. And you could possibly also explain that an opposite of short could be long. Uh, or tall or something like that. So you put all this in context and then I think they'll be quite successful in doing this. Colour the tall objects in the following group. <coughs> Again, there are only four objects and if they look carefully I'm sure they'll they'll colour the building and the tree. <coughs> Some examples because students love drawing. They could draw a tall tree, a short plant or a tall animal. These are just three examples and you can use many, many others. They could draw a long snake, a short pencil, a long truck or a short car. Again, just examples to give you an idea of what you could give to students. Remembering they do love to draw. Here's another example. Draw any object that is long. So that'll, that'll make them think, won't it? It could be any object that that's long and there are many 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 that we know of it would be interesting to see what they come up with draw any object that is short same type of thing draw any object that is tall here's another good example join a line from each object to the correct word so you've got tall long and short so they would connect each of these objects here with the correct word so just a few little ideas of some exercises you could give to students. And of course, I'm sure you can think of many, many more. But they really need to have a good idea that objects in the real world have different sizes and they have to be able to really distinguish between those sizes. <coughs> 